About two months ago, I had a negotiation uh, issue that taught me the lesson that um, you have to think about what you're giving up in relationship to what you're gaining. Um, I was working full time at a startup company and um, I like to regularly do one or two day fasts and occasionally a three day fast. There are some health benefits to doing so. I rarely have trouble doing so, but one day I was at work when I ran into some trouble that I didn't anticipate. Um, I was sitting next to a coworker who was very loudly eating chips. Like by loudly, I mean he sounded like a hungry bear. I mean that that's 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 how I would describe it. And so uh, I was into day one or two of that fast, and it made me feel very uncomfortable. Well, had it been day three or day four where you start to adjust to it, it might not have been so bad. Uh, but make a long story short, the timing was off. I couldn't really leave my computer at the moment he was doing this. I had a lot of um, stuff going on, and uh, also um, I just uh, had a lot of devices connected together. I didn't want to move my workstation. Um, at such a short notice, and it just made me realize that uh, even if you love your job, even if everything's going right, there are always going to be hidden perils that you didn't think of uh, when you were negotiating uh, for whatever you're doing. So um, later that week, I don't know if it was later that week, but around the same time, um, I was working full time, but I was negotiating an uh, odd job on the side too. Uh, I was doing some tutoring and um, I was talking to the kid's mother. I was hoping to be able to do the tutoring uh, on one of the weekdays after work. Uh, when I was working full time, um, uh, here's, the, here's the problem. If the kid wanted the tutoring on a Saturday afternoon, it kind of cut my weekend in half. It made it impossible for me to make use of the weekend to go um, to see a friend in uh I have a friend in Spokane, and um, in, I have a few friends in Central Washington as well. And to have something smack in the middle of the weekend uh, had a much higher opportunity cost uh, than just a couple of hours on the weekend. You know, obviously, uh, from the kid's perspective, you know, he's getting tutored for one or two hours, and maybe he might think about the time I take to travel there. He doesn't realize that, or he's not going to appreciate that it, it's cuts my weekend in half, right? So uh, the, the, what I'm trying to say is what I'm giving up is much greater in relationship to what the kid is getting. I'm sure he doesn't want to pay $1,000 for, for the tutoring session, right? If he did, maybe I would consider that, but uh, obviously uh, that's probably out of the question. So I wanted to negotiate uh, a, uh, an afternoon uh, after work. The other issue is I don't quite know what time I get to get out at work, right? Uh, if the kid wanted like 10 p.m., it might work. Uh, but uh, obviously, uh, most kids don't want to do that. So, so I ended up uh, trying to negotiate kind of like how if you were to hire a, a plumber to your house, he might give you a window of time that he shows up. I was trying to negotiate a deal like that. It didn't turn out, but the, the, the parent and the kid wasn't completely unreceptive to that. So it made me realize that Oh, if you want something, you should just ask for it. Oh, in any case. Oh, and what what else have I realized? One of, one of my pet peeves when I negotiate these odd jobs, whether I'm hiring somebody or, or somebody else is hiring me, or uh, whether I'm buying or selling something, uh, one of my pet peeves when I negotiate these things is when the other side wants the number right off the bat without me being able to sense Oh, if there's any problems uh, with the deal. So one problem I might run into is um, sometimes I have trouble going into uh, other people's homes. I'm very sensitive to various uh, uh, chemicals. Obviously, if they smoke in their home, I don't want to go there. If they have very strong uh, air fresheners, uh, I might have to talk to them and see if they can stop using them before I go there. And in that case, I might have to negotiate going somewhere else, right? Or maybe um, uh, maybe the, the timing of if they don't tell me, uh, if, if, we, if they, ask, they, they insist on a number, and some of these people are very um, good at this. They, they literally give you the sense, give me a number or else the deal is off. And so you give them a number and then you realize that uh, 
they, they want it on Saturday afternoon, which isn't going to really work out for me. And uh, I, I've been trying very hard to uh, to, to try to avoid uh, giving out these numbers. But some people are very persistent. Uh, oh, what's your price? And they ask it in, in a certain way or um, at a certain timing to make you feel like uh, if you don't give a number, the, the deal is completely off. Uh, and, and then and once you give a number, they might haggle it down a little bit. And then they start to negotiate all these little details. They, they want the best time for them. They want the best location for them. And, and, uh, and, uh, and then you realize it doesn't work out. You eat, and then it's, it's bad for your reputation, right? If you, if you jump out of it because of all these constraints uh, or you sacrifice uh, whatever it is. Uh, one thing I find that helps is to uh, offer a free trial. Give the first session for free, see what the hidden perils are, and then decide. Uh, it also gives me an easy way out. Uh, I was trying to do this, actually, and uh, I was talking to um, a parent on the phone, and uh, she was happy about getting the free trial, but then she wanted to know the number. After that. She wanted to know, well, how much is it after that? And uh, my heart just sank, and I gave an excuse to to get off the phone. I said, oh, I, I got somebody important calling me right now. I never heard back from them, but it made me realize what I was up against, and uh, I had to adjust uh, my strategy accordingly. Thanks for watching.